Gaming monitors are awesome, and especially those ultra-wide ones. We love them. But they are quite expensive. And we're not just talking about these ultra-wide monitors. We're talking about a good gaming monitor in general. They can get very expensive. Today, we have an AOPEN, a budget-friendly display maker. And specifically, we have this. Oh. The AOPEN 43VX1CP. And it is, as you can see, an ultra-wide monitor. So for 2,999 ringgit, will you be getting the same ultra-wide gaming experience as other ultra-wide gaming monitors? What about the regular ones? Will it compare to those that are the same price as this? Should you get it? Let's find out. First of all, it is pretty big. This is pretty much the standard for a lot of the ultra-wide displays out there. Unlike a lot of the ultra-wide display though, this one is flat and ultra-wide. This is also a 21 to 9 aspect ratio monitor. That's a bit unusual. While it looks big once you plug it into your gaming laptop or even your gaming rig, it doesn't look that big anymore. In fact, because it's only 43.8 inch, the display look quite squished. There is an LED strip that stretches the width of the monitor only to be interrupted by the mount and you can change the color of the LED strip through the OSD settings menu or you can use the remote here. Yes, this monitor even comes with its own remote control so you don't really need to reach and fiddle with the little buttons at the bottom of the monitor to get into the menu and whatnot but the buttons are not actually that small so it's still okay for you to work with. Other than that, there's nothing really to shout about the design. There's a little Fire Legend logo, which is kind of tacky in our opinion, but it is small enough that you hardly notice it, especially when you game. The back of the monitor is very clean. It's very white as well and very plain, with just the LED strips that just out. There's also two plain plastic strips that stretches up and down from the mounting point of the monitor, but it's not functional, it's just for the sake of looks. There's also the large AOPEN logo that proudly tells your friends that you have a sort of budget gaming monitor. That's not necessarily a bad thing though, we like how clean and simple it looks. Compared to the other AOPEN monitors, the base and the pillar of the Fire Legend 43VX1 CP3 monitor is also a sturdy one. That's a very long name. Games like Dirt 4 or any other racing games really benefit from the monitor especially when you put yourself in the cockpit of the vehicles. That said, games like Star Wars Squadrons as well work really well, especially if you're putting yourself in the cockpit of these starfighters, you're really feeling like you're the fighter in there. Of course, games are not all you can do with it. The white coverage of the color gamut also means you can work with colors on this thing. We could easily color grade our videos and be sure that we somewhat get the colors we want on the video. Although there's that little bit that you might not get, but still, it's good enough. If you are going to watch movies with it, just be aware that you're going to get two black spaces, big black spaces on the sides of the display, instead of the usual top and bottom black bars. This is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio monitor, so you can expect that because most of the movies are displayed in 16 by 9 monitors. We only have two complaints with the display, and one of it is its brightness or kind of lack of it. While 350 nits might sound a lot, it's not. If you're going to sit in a brightly lit room, you might get a little annoyed with its visibility, especially on the far edges of the display. Secondly, because the display is not a curved panel, you sometimes have to crane your neck a little bit to look at things at the far edges of the panel. And with high brightness in your room and the reflection, you're not gonna see anything. The display also packs its own speakers like any other display that you can find in the market out there but they're not great and it's very soft, very weak, even at 100%. But it's really nothing to complain about if you have a dedicated headphone for your PC or you can just get some external speakers. You don't even get a USB hub here, you can't make it into a USB hub. There's two HDMI ports but none of them are 2.1 spec. One is an HDMI 2.0 and the other is HDMI 1.4, but at least it can take full advantage of the display. There is a display port though, so you might want to take advantage of that. 
Because there is a remote, you can easily switch between the three inputs that the monitor offers without ever fiddling around with the monitor buttons. You can also turn off the monitor without finding the power button on the monitor itself. There is also a 3.5 audio jack at the back of the monitor so that you can plug your speakers into the monitor if you really want to do that. Like we said earlier, the AOPEN 43-inch gaming monitor, ultra-wide gaming monitor, sets you back 2,999 ringgit, which may not sound a lot like a budget product. It is quite expensive, especially if you compare it to a Huawei Mate View GT that's only going for 2,488 ringgit currently. But while the Huawei can offer you more resolution theoretically, and better speakers because it's got a sound bite in front, it doesn't offer the same wideness as the AOPEN 43VX1CP. In terms of color too, the AOPEN trumps the Huawei because the 43-inch gaming monitor offers better color reproduction and therefore better color accuracy compared to the Huawei. And that is important if you are a content creator. In terms of width as well, you don't get much that can compare to the AOPEN 43-inch gaming monitor. It displays at 21 by 9 aspect ratio compared to the usual 32 by 9 aspect ratio from most ultra-wide gaming monitors. There's only one other gaming monitor that we can think of that you can compare it to. And that costs at least twice of the AOPEN gaming monitor. To be fair, 2,999 ringgit is a lot of money to us for a budget monitor. As we mentioned earlier as well, it is more expensive than some of the options out there. But we kind of think that this is the cheapest 21 by 9 aspect ratio ultra wide gaming screen that you can find out there. The display is also quite a good one, especially when it comes to colors. Because it is an IPS display, we do kind of expect that kind of color accuracy from the display itself. The design of the monitor is also very clean. We like that very much. The strip, the LED strip, is not that tacky. It's very well placed and it does add a certain flair to gaming. Games do look good on this display and they feel good too. They are highly enjoyable on this display. And if you want to play competitive titles, you can push it up to 120 frames a second. Now, you get the extra benefit of getting more information on the map and getting more things on the side so that you can see more. And especially if you're into racing games, that really helps. 2,999 ringgit is not exactly cheap as we have covered for this. But if you're running a full HD display at 16 by 9 aspect ratio and at 75 hertz refresh rate, this might be a worthy upgrade. And you don't need to buy two monitors to fulfill your dual screen setup. The only thing we have complained about on that side is that it doesn't have a curve, which is quite annoying. But you let us know what you think about the monitor in the comments below. Do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, we have a lot more videos like this on our channel, so do subscribe. Now, thank you for watching our video and we will see you in the next video.